popcorn ceilings and low ceilings, uh, they take me back in time and to the time of tracked homes of my youth and small dark rooms and when everything was separated or portioned off and uh, homes had really small closets. And uh, so uh, popcorn ceilings, why did people put start putting those things up? Well, apparently popcorn ceilings originally, uh, they it originated as a way to to reduce noise in a house they, they, because they're also called acoustic ceilings, which I think is something interesting. Uh, but the, And they were made with uh, chalk and wallboard compounds, and uh, some mixtures even contained asbestos, which uh, about a lot of you didn't know. Uh, so if you're taking down your popcorn, you might want to consider having it tested before you do. I think the older the house, uh, the more likely it's going to contain asbestos. Uh, now, I would indeed encourage you to to uh, take down popcorn ceilings because they instantly date a house. And I don't know of any situation in which you would really want to keep that if you have the option of removing it. And so, uh, you know, like some of the uh, some of those ceilings contain glitter. Uh, have you ever seen that? Uh, yes. Have you ever seen those? Terry? Yes. <laughs> they actually contain glitter. I don't know what the thought was there. You know. Uh, but uh, they make a, a ceiling look busy and dated. And I think it's one of the first things that should be removed. Uh, and it's not that hard to remove, actually. Uh, it just takes a little, a little bit of uh, elbow grease to, uh, to, to do that. Mm-hmm. 